Well, my full name is Alexandrina Macomb. I've never been called Alexandrina from the day I was born. It was Sandra. I think the first real memory I have is I was a little girl and we had immigrated from Scotland and I was probably about maybe two and a half, three years old, maybe three. And I went to see, my dad was coming home from work and my mom let me run ahead and meet my dad. And behind his bag, he was holding something and then he pulled out in a little plastic bag, a little goldfish in water. And that was a little, but that, is I think my first real memory. The house um, that I really grew up in, my family home, was our first house in New Westminster that we actually bought. When we immigrated from Scotland, we rented in Vancouver, and then we rented in New Westminster, and when I was eight years old, we bought a house, and I, I, we lived there from when I was eight until I was 16 and it was a small little house but I think it was the happiest time in my life. Really? It was so small but we were so thankful and proud because coming from Scotland and kind of lower income, you would never expect to own a home. I have two younger brothers and they loved us all very much and we went to church on Sunday and I'm very close to my brothers and very thankful. That's They're great. wonderful men and wonderful brothers to me. I was very shy. I was very insecure. You know, I had friends, but I, I think I was a little too sensitive for my own good. Mm -hmm. I, I felt things too deeply. Mm -hmm. I felt hurts too deeply. Yeah. I was uh, 22 okay. and I met a fellow. He was in the U.S. Navy, oh, but okay. it is stationed at Whidbey Island. He was from Houston, Texas, and I met him at a nightclub. <laughs> and it was a, a girlfriend who was dating a friend of his that okay. introduced me. I fell in love and I think he fell in love. He was the most beautiful man I ever <laughs> saw in my life. And we were together for quite some time. Mm -hmm. And he asked me to marry him. And then we were going to get married. He was stationed after this period to San Diego. And we were going to get married in San Diego. And he uh, left. And I never heard from him again. I sent a card because I knew his mom's address, but it was just returned. And I, I don't know if they had moved. I don't know. I don't know the situation. I'd rather start by saying that you've only been married once. Yes. 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 So how did you meet? At a nightclub. Really? <laughs> Again? So you had James at a nightclub. <laughs> yes, wow. I did. I was there with a couple of my girlfriends, and uh, he was there with a buddy of his. And he was such a gentleman. He sent all of us, myself and my two girlfriends, a drink. He sent us over wow. a drink. It was really classy. And uh, you know, and then he came over, and he asked me to dance. Aww. And that was it. After about six months, I don't know if I wasn't feeling it wasn't really working or he wasn't. It, I think it was kind of maybe a mutual thing. Did we were wow. always friends? We traveled together platonically. I think it was along the beach, and he said to me, he says, "You know, Sand." He said. I can see us maybe retiring here for part of the year Aww. when we're older. I just kind of, I kind of looked at him like, what? And <laughs> then, then I thought, and I didn't say anything, and I didn't really make a face, but I thought, what? And then I thought, well, I can't imagine being old without him. Oh, my God. And we got married the next year. That's beautiful. Darling, you know, it was just because we were older when we mm -hmm. got married. We were both 44. Mm -hmm. I, that's, I think, my biggest regret, especially since James is gone, that we didn't maybe have children. But I just thought as a woman at 44, it was a little too late. Too late. And I think James, uh, we ne it's funny, we never really discussed it, but I think it was just kind of a given. 
we had a cat for a long time. And that's why you really love cats. I love cats. Yeah, I think that's where I got my yeah. love for cats. Yeah. But yeah. What yeah. was your cat's name? Like, the, Which, the you know you what? She was a little stray and she was already pregnant at the time. Somebody had just mm-hmm. dropped her off. It was different days mm-hmm. then. And um, we never, she never really had a name. I think I fear, not for me, but I fear death. I fear mm-hmm. people dying. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, it's a reality. Mm-hmm. I see my dad's health mm-hmm. uh, not being so good. And, mm-hmm. you know, just getting older. I see my friends, mm-hmm. just different things. Yeah. I think my best friend was Joanne Lyons. And her family, uh, we have a picture of her and I together when we we're three years old, both in our snowsuits in New Westminster things that you would tell your old self I didn't have to be afraid Mm -hmm. I I was okay just the way I was Mm -hmm. I'm stronger than I thought I was Mm -hmm. I was better than I thought I was my purpose in life I still don't know Mm -hmm. you know I look back in my life I look at my life moving forward I look at where I am in life and I don't know I just kind of want to say that I, I don't I don't know either why why terrible things happen and I don't I don't really I was just telling my dad the other day I don't understand why I don't understand why it has to happen especially to people who deserve better I think that you're so strong I really do I think that you're so strong and ever since we moved here I've always I've always seen you as my role model I've always wanted to be like you because especially with what you've been through you're so kind and you always touch my heart every time I see you. I just, I love seeing you. Oh, I love you. I love you too. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.